Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey with Antelope Audio. In a previous video, we looked at creating a new Antelope Audio user account and some of the features of the newly updated user area of the Antelope Audio website. In this video, I'm going to take you through downloading and installing the software you need to run your new Antelope Audio Zen Go USB audio interface and the registration process. There's not much business to take care of here, but there are a couple of differences between running Zen Go with Mac OS and running it under Windows. So with that said, let's dive in. All Antelope Audio interfaces require you to download the Antelope Audio Launcher software. The Launcher allows you to register, configure and update not only your Antelope Audio hardware, but also the drivers and supporting software that accompany the hardware. There are two places to find the download for the launcher. The easiest way to obtain the launcher, as you have a user account on the Antelope Audio website, would be to log into the user area using your email address and password, go to My Account, then go to the bottom left of the screen and click Download Launcher. You then get the options to download the launcher for macOS or Windows. Select the one that's correct for you and follow the instructions to install the launcher on your system. However, you can also click the support button on the home page of the Antelope Audio website, then click Downloads, select any of the Antelope Audio interface hardware, then scroll down to the Launcher download link for your operating system. The Launcher is the same for all Antelope Audio interface hardware, so it doesn't matter which interface you select, the Launcher that will be downloaded will be the same. Once installed, you can boot, start or even launch the Launcher. On macOS, you are now up and running. On Windows, you may get a message like this. Just click Allow Access and your launcher should become populated with the Antelope Audio interface hardware you either have attached locally or that you have attached over your local area network. The next thing to do before you start making music is to register the interface. In the launcher, click Activate Device. If you are not already logged into your account, you'll be prompted to do so. Hit Activate Device again and confirm the email address shown is the account you want to register the unit to. Now click Activate Device or Assign Features and hit Continue. Now check Register Device. If you've been given or paid for any extra software, you can assign these to the ZenGo here, then hit Continue. Don't worry, you can assign more features like Antelope Audio AFX plugins or mic models to your interface at a later date if you wish. Congratulations, you have been successfully registered. Now hit done. The next thing to do is make sure you have the very latest bundle software for your interface installed. In the launcher, next to the device name, which is the serial number by default, you will see the bundle version. The bundle is all the software the interface needs, including the driver software to allow your interface to talk to your computer and DAW, the firmware to keep the unit up to date, and the control panel to allow you to configure the interface. Keeping the bundle up to date is very important and means you will always have the very latest drivers, control panel and firmware for your interface. Under the latest bundle version drop-down, select the newest version if not already selected, then hit update. The launcher will then download and install all the software your interface needs. This may or may not require you to restart your machine. To check that the drivers have been installed correctly, on macOS go to the macOS system preferences, then to sound and make sure Zen Go is an available device. On Windows go to the control panel, hardware and sound, then sound and make sure Zen Go is listed as an available device. And there you are, you're installed, registered and up and running. It's now time to get creative. Hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.